Hey YouTube, and an extra zoomed in video for today. Um, basically, I'm gonna make it as quick as I can. Um, there's, it's gonna be hard to see a lot of what I'm doing, but I just wanna show you what I'm up to. So, I have a SFF8484 connector, a SAS connector, uh, and it's a tail, it goes out to four standard SATA connectors um, for my server. Now, what I didn't know when I brought this is these are directional. So, the one I currently have is to go from seven SATA ports on, say, a motherboard into a backplane of some description that uses this connector. But what I'm trying to use it for is to put this onto a RAID card and run four hard drives off it, which I can't because it's wired the wrong way. So, I'm going to quickly go through what I'm doing. Uh, I'm changing these. I'm actually just pulling all the tails off, resoldering them, and they work fine. So it's really simple if you've got the tools to do it and really easy. So I'm just going to quickly go through it, um, probably try not to stop too often and um, I'll try and fast forward it and show you little bits and pieces. Alright, let's get going. So these are just uh, cheap ones I got off eBay, um, they were five, five, six, six dollars Australian or something. So just basically I, I went on eBay. And I was like, hey, what I need, I need these connectors. And I just brought, jumped on, brought the cheapest ones I could find. So, two screws, cover, cover comes off really easily. What we're going to do, we're going to mark our four SATA cables. Um, just A side. So all these will get switched 180 degrees. And that's all we have to do. So, really simple. Um, they're all hot glued down. So, um, I am just using the lighter. And I will go through and I will heat these up. It's easy if I don't show you guys. But I'll try and... So, what we're trying to do is to heat the hot glue without melting everything else. Now, soldering iron. Um, now, this one is a, a point eight of a millimeter wedge tip. So, really good for doing um, this sort of work. I would definitely recommend something this small for this work um, but with something so small and having hot glue everywhere um, definitely keep cleaning your tips as you it will uh, destroy the tips pretty easily especially if you've got um, a good salt if you've got good soldering tips and stuff like that you, you want to keep them in good nick so I will clean it and I will tin it after I finish going through these connectors. So you can see it's actually really quite quick and simple. Just go through, heat them up one by one, and then pull the to squeeze squeeze the end and pull the wet heat hot glue off it. Just makes it a bit easier because you have to get it off eventually. What's stuck? Next one, next one, that one, that one, last one. And just try to get that hot glue off. Clean the tip. Solder on the tip. Okay. So, we're going to go through find number one, which is the last one I just pulled off. We're going to heat up the hot glue again. Get more hot glue off. Um, the hot glue, you don't need it hot, hot, you just need enough 
to get the hot glue off. Mm. Now these are woefully not straight so I'll just trim them up a little bit. So I've got about a millimetre and a half cable there so um, we're not working with huge sizes here considering the tip's only 0.8 mil wide um, sorry for everyone in America um, I use metric and we use metric here in Australia so um, if, if you're interested to, to work out the sizes just google them um, it'll come up pretty easily so I'm just trying to get rid of some of the excess glue off the back of the connector and we're going to uh, neat, clean up the solder pads so just quick wipe over the pads to clean them off that's that P1 alright so we had our black one up that way so we want to put it up the other way so then we space all the wires out neatly so nice and straight there sort of even just makes it easier once you go to solder them then tip and just one by one dab them back in um, don't need any extra solder I mean you're, you're soldering like I think it's 30 I think these are 30 gauge so the the amount of solder that's on the pad is more than enough to attach them that's it that's one done um, so basically and that's all you have to do um, switch the cables physically over so that will change so that will change from our host to our attached device so the way they were before that was the host and that was the device and so by switching the cable over it switches the end so um, I'm going to continue on finish the rest of these there we have it YouTube uh, completed all four connectors on there so they are they are fine but there's my finger, so they're, they're quite small, but take your time with it. Get an appropriate size. This basically the smallest bit you've got. And you should be fine. And it's not hard. It only took a few minutes to do it, so it's quite quick. And just a bit of, bit of hot glue over it again, and um, all good to go. So if you enjoy my videos, um, give them a thumbs up. Uh, helps a bit. So, and I'll catch you on the next video that I make. See you later.